Hi, my name is Kerry. I'm a young mum and this is my self-portrait. I'm very independent. I don't like to rely on anybody else. I'd rather do things myself than ask anybody else. But deep inside I know when you're a young parent, that's what you've got to do. We've got to have somebody for support and to back it up. My life as a young parent is very hectic. I've got three little girls, so there's always washing to be done, ironing, tidying up dummies to be found, bottles to be washed, kids to put in the bath, bedrooms to tidy. You never just ever seem to get any time for yourself. My daily routine starts every day at seven o'clock in the morning. Here's my dishes. I find myself doing several times a day. Before I do my housework, I have to make sure Lucy is occupied. He has Lucy's bottles and cups that have to be sterilised daily. With three children, there's always plenty of washing. And drying. Then there's my pile of ironing to tackle. There's always plenty of mess for me to tidy up. When I was at school, I had ambitions for myself. There was things I wanted to do. I wanted to be a midwife. Um, I went to college and I trained to be a beautician and I love that. And I think that was my time of life when I was being independent, doing a lot more things for myself and starting to grow up. When I first became pregnant, I was at college, I was gaining confidence, just starting to really find my real self. And then I felt like it was all slowly being taken away from us. I'd been with my boyfriend for about six months. We were just starting to enjoy ourselves, going out, finding with feet with each other. It was exciting, it was something new. We had everything, there was nobody else to think about apart from ourselves. We had a great relationship. We just didn't realise the consequences of our actions. When I found out I was pregnant, it was a reality check. I was very frightened and scared to tell everybody. But once I did, everybody was there for us and supported us. And I'm still with my boyfriend now. I had to start and grow up fast. I had to make some choices. I stayed determined to finish my course at college and with a lot of help from people at college, I managed to do that just before I had my baby. Before I had my first daughter, I was independent, bubbly, outgoing. Now I've got low self-esteem, no confidence. I think you prioritise things in life and. I put my children first, so it's just like I get I forget about myself. When you're young and you get pregnant, your life gets put on hold. You walk in your own shadow. You don't see yourself as yourself anymore. I don't regret having my children. They're my life. My life revolves around them, and I don't think I would do anything differently the way that I've done it. If I could turn the clock back, I would maybe wait a few more years before I began a family. I would have finished my career properly, went on holidays, enjoyed myself a little bit more. You have your childhood, your teenage life, your adult life. Getting pregnant at 18 meant I had to watch everybody else grow up around us and I had to do it a lot faster than everybody else. When I look at my daughter now, she reminds us so much of myself. She's got ambitions for herself. She's full of life and energy. And she always says, I never want to have children. But I remember saying that myself when I was her age. Looking back, I'm pleased I did everything I did. I finished my college course. Still got my qualifications. Still got ambitions for myself. And I know I can still do it. My message to you is, learn to live. Enjoy your life, get a career, be independent, and then you don't need to rely on anybody else. Think positively about your life and be prepared for whatever has to happen. Then you can choose to have a family and set yourself up from that point in your life.